Yes, guys, welcome back to another video. In today's, we're going to get the orders wrapped like always, first thing in the morning, get them sent. I mean, he's going to find some stock from somewhere because we obviously didn't go to Carboot yesterday. Um, yeah, not long before we go away now, but we need to start getting some sales coming through. So we've got eight on eBay, I think. Two on Vinted from this morning. That's some good sales as well. Um, what else have we got? Got a free pending, pending payment, which I don't know what's going on. But yeah, stay tuned and it's getting picked. So we'll start off with the two Vinted sales. This sold for two pound. It is Who Am I with a question mark game. Don't know what it is. It was in a, just a random bag of crap that I got, so it don't owe me anything. Quick two quid is nice. Happy days. Then, if you remember at the car boot on Saturday, when we actually smashed it in, in buying, not much of it sold, like, but we smashed it in buying. Uh, we got this for two quid, this North Face raincoat rocking thing. I think it was a size small, yeah, size small. That is sold for 10 quid on Vinted, so a quick £8 profit. That's what I like to see. Keep my profits low. Keeping them high at the same time. Uh, right then, on to eBay. So I might have told you a little white lie today. Uh, it was an eight, it was nine with free pending. But we'll run through smallest price to highest price sort of crap. So I've only listed like two things at that Star Wars bundle and one of them sold already, which was this ship with Obi-Wan inside. And that's gone for 10 quid plus the postage. Everything comes with the post. So yeah. Um, we got this for free of Dan. It's now sold for 10 quid plus the postage. Uh, again, 10 quid plus the post, another pair of them headphones. I've had them for ages, never seem to sell. As soon as one sells, they all start selling. It's ridiculous. Another 10 quid plus the post. Sonic with a tag, because he cost me two quid. Um, I think this is another, I think it's in 9.99 this one actually. So that Wallace and Gromit bundle we got, if you can see in that box there, just here. Um, we got some figures, 25 quid we paid. Do we pay 25 quid? Yeah, we paid 25 quid for them and then 50p extra for this book. So we're 25 pound 50p into it all. And this, with these two little figures that I got given for free, sold for 9.99. So you can't really laugh at that one. Easy money. Uh, then onto a bigger sale. The iPod we got, sold. Uh, chuck the headphones and stuff out like I said all earwax and that and tested that it does work perfectly fine it's got loads of songs on it the person I had it for 21 95 and the person says what's the lowest you would take uh, and can you keep the songs and I said give us 20 quid it's yours just not too good off which is pretty much like too good cheaper postage and he said yeah are you sure you're going to keep the, the music on I said yeah you keep the music on so 20 quid for that that was in a bundle of that the dinosaur what was the other thing and the gun the playstation remote gun I picked up for 16 quid. So after fees, that'll probably make me 15, 16 quid. So we should be back. That. As well, this morning we've hit 6,600 followers on YouTube. So happy days. I'd like to get a thousand on Instagram, which we're not far away, which is Kaji underscore reselling, if you haven't followed me already. Also, if you know anyone who wants to follow me on YouTube, let's try and hit 7K by end of next month, or end of this month, start of next month. I want to hit 10K before the end of the year, but it's never going to happen, so... Yeah, anyway, moving on. Three more sales to go through. This Panasonic DVD player, which I think cost me £8. I can't remember if it was 8 or 10 You guys will remember from a charity shop video. That sold for £30 plus the post. Another £30 plus the post. <sighs> for this thing, it's worth like 75 quid. It's been opened, it all works, I've tested it all but it doesn't owe me anything. And when someone come in, I had it for 45, I think, just to undercut everybody else. Someone offered me 30. I didn't pay for this. I didn't buy, it didn't cost me a penny out of my own pocket. This come from them pallet people who scammed me. So 30 quid from them. Fuck off. Do you know what I mean? And then sale of the day. Obvious what it's going to be. Well, sale of the day so far. It's only fucking nine o'clock in the morning. We've got a strap. Believe it or not, I'll even show you when we get upstairs if you want when I'm printing the labels off. This sold $49.99 plus the shipping. Now, I'll send out crazy offers, 40 quid, 35 quid, just get it gone. 
and it's over 50 this morning so happy days easy to send just when you send them make sure the bottom bits don't snap otherwise i return them make sure there's no but another thing with guitar heroes now if i was you as well just for because i'm a master at guitar heroes you don't want to sell them um i wouldn't buy xbox playstation or that ones unless it's the playstation one you plug in like ps2 because Battery asses and half them, you can't, if you can't test them, you're going to send them off and they're going to get returned, like happened to me. So Wii ones, it's just plain and simple. That literally plugs into a Wii controller, so it doesn't work. It's you, probably your Wii controller. Oh, this is broke, I don't fucking know. But yeah, get these wrapped, get sorted, and I'll head to them charity shops. I put 20 quid, there we go, look. This Nintendo Guitar Hero, 49.99. I show you it like that sometimes because people don't believe me. And I ain't got the technical ability on, like, phones and whatever to oh, pop it up here, what's sold, and all this crap. I just literally film it, get it done, get it uploaded, raw as anything, and show you guys how it's done. So now we get these orders wrapped. Just finished the orders, and then guess what? Another sales happened. It's only for a tenner, but it's one of the Lego books that I got. It's only got two Lego books for a fiver. One of them sold for a tenner. And the other one had the scribbles in, and I don't think it's ever going to sell, but... This made some sort of profit on it. And here it is. I think it was like £10 plus post. Funny thing. Uh, I've just seen this upstairs. Female Wolverine Legend. I tried to sell it on Whatnot on the first one I did and it didn't sell. Because I, I asked for a lot of money. Which is worth a lot of money still. Still vintage. Um, so yeah. Probably should put that there and relist it back on eBay. Stay there. He's getting listed tonight as well also. And all them Lego... Uh, Star Wars people, because Star Wars is going fast. Oh, Jesus, let's go. What's up on the van? Dave in the front. You're looking a bit squished today, Dave. You're all good, mate. Yeah, I put lots on the front of the van. Don't ask why. I want to put Woody and Buzz on the back as well, but I need to find them first. Well, mail done. There's only two to send. Well, mail the rest to every. So to the impost locker, we shall go. So we're at the charity shops. Let's go. I'm looking for some gaming stuff today, please. Hopefully somebody's got some bits for me. Here we go. How old is that? Jesus. Nothing in there, they've got a promotion on. So, first charity shot, we hit the jackpot. Simple as that. So they had a boxed cool picks 760 for 15 quid. It's not the best one, but it will go for about I don't know, 40 to 50 quid maybe. And then there was five Furbies. One of them is damaged, which she did tell me, but I'll try and clean that up. Uh, four quid each. So we spent 35 quid in there. They should be looking at over 150 quid profit. Now on to the next one. So we said on to the next one, I went in the next two and there was nothing in any of them. I couldn't be asked for a minute, but got three more to go and I'm off down to the big ones at the bottom. $7.99, not bad. Converse is $7.99, fuck no. Jesus Christ. real time. Best way to go, straight up though. Some sort of charities and stuff going on. Don't know what they are, though. We've got a little market going on here, let's go get some bargains. That market's just full of absolute shite. So is my fucking shed, but. 750 for some box. Boxing, I've right still got this sack the same one. How much? Five. Walk talk is too quick. Yeah, I think that's a lot for up here, but I've not one right in the rent. I want to get the van and move it down. Nightmare today. Right, this last one, I'm going home to get some breakfast, man. Starving. Let's get you into it. Donations. Nice one. Two quid. Size 16. Three quid waterproof as well. Get it. 
the regatta one I'm going to leave behind because it's that time. I know it's only three quid, but it's that time of year. This I'm going to keep. Well, two quid, clean it up. Uh, size medium, I think the missus might be able to fit in it. Right, if that stays there. Going to go and get some breakfast, see what the wife's doing. And then we'll hit the other two at the bottom. So, see you soon. Looks like breakfast is cold off and it's dinner time, she says. So, why do yours look like that? And then mine looks like that. What's going on? Look at the state of that. Yeah, all right. Dinner done. Never again. What do you reckon? <sighs> Told you, Mother and Carter, but you won't have any of it. I wish I was as famous as this guy. Quids in, wouldn't you? There's not even one list in it then. What the hell is this? Crap. Game stays. Sims, Jumanji. 50p. Sure, like these games are worth more than 50p. Apparently not. Sims, Charlie Trouble Fighting. How much are dolls nowadays? It's not one of them brass ones, it's just and there's two of them. Another one both two pounds fifty. The worth out? Dunno. Keep seeing him thinking there's a jelly cat every time in here, but it's not. What you found? Watch it. Fifteen quid. Worth about 60, I'd say, but they look brand new. Mm, they're a small size, though. Size four. That's the windows, <coughs> aren't they? Nah, fuck off. These slippers are better and cheaper. £3.50. No. Ah. Feel a vintage bag. Yeah, yeah. Not feel a vintage, it's just feel that is a vintage bag. Fuck them in. Make them. Oh, oh my god, look how much they are. Yes. They're mint. Oh my god, I'm get five pairs of them. <laughs> you fucking mad. 20 quid down, I'm banging down the motor. Can't sell them as new because of damage the air and then all faded off inside. Oh, nice though. Not 20 quid though. I see her. I see her. What are you looking at? What's your phone? What's I've tried a bit before, but it's just because it's a massive make. Like, makes. In other words, you're saying it's for me, aren't you? Enough of these fat jokes. Talking about jokes. <coughs> 15 quid on food. You will be full. You're eating your steak. These are six quid. Cracks. Just come up loads of times on the bag of these. So that bag and even more DS games. There was a couple of broken phones, a couple of phones that the cat test because he ain't got a pack tester, other bits and bobs. And she said, make me an offer. And because I was with a wife, and I'm a dickhead. Yeah, and I was trying that clever because I'm the man that's like, we need your expertise, how much would you give us for these? For some reason, the first number that came out of my head was 100 quid. And they accepted the offer. So if some of them games are fake, then I'm in deep shit. So anyone watching this, when I get home, I have to come out of the range and I find the wife. Um, please help me out because I know games, but some of these games don't have a clue. Like if like Game Boy games, if there's a Pokemon and a Mario in there, that could be the money back. But they could be fake. So yeah, see you when I get home. Look at that now. PlayStation's there. Complete on there. PC's there. Prime and that's up there. Look at there. Back to what it used to be. So I don't need this TV anymore. I want some testing stuff. And now my desk is ready to run through all this crap with. I hope this happens and stays there. This angle is quite good. So, we're back home. Let's run through what we picked up today. So we start off with the first charity shop where we spent 35 quid. <coughs> we picked up, it's like new, still in its box. It is a Coolpix 7600. Working beautifully. It's got everything inside it. It's not the most thought of camera, but look, it's literally, you can sell it, you can pretty much sell it as new. It's got the SD card and everything in it, beautiful, excellent condition. That's going to get about 50, 60 quid. 
from 15 quid, so you can't really complain about that. Up next, we've got, this is 20 quid for all this, but one, two, three, four, that have been tested and working, and five, that does state it's got a little bit of battery damage, but might be able to fix that. So five of them for 20 quid, you're looking about 25, 30 quid each. Easy money, absolute buzz on that. Right, so this next bag cost me 100 quid. So I think it was a massive mistake, but we'll run through it anyway. We've got a Tesco Hood Eye um, iPad thing. If you can hear a dog crying in the background, it's because the mum's upstairs and she's downstairs, so she's crying. And it turns out there is no tablet in here. Oh no, sorry. All right. Oh, tablet's still sealed. So, there's a, a little something. I don't know what that is. Something in it with it. I'm going to put it back in there though. I don't know how much that's worth. I might get 20, 30 quid for that tablet on its own. It might actually turn out to be all right. But yeah. Anyone wants a tablet, please let me know. 200 quid down here at the start of this. He's going to let that dog out. Right, so we continue with a t-shirt change after I just spilled loads of crap down the front of myself. But we'll move on. So, so far, 100 quid deep. Probably got about, I'd say, maybe 20 quid on that. I don't know how much they're worth. Still sealed though, it still looks like it's never been used. So, yeah. We then got a shit ton of Nintendo DS games. Like a shit ton. I think there's 18 here. So let's run through them. Any good ones out of the bunch? We've got Puzzle Master. If anyone of these DS games, let me know. Top Spin 2, CSI, Jewelry Quest, just a bag of crap. Another Jewelry Quest. Pirates of the Caribbean might be a good game. Uh, Assassin's Creed, crap Jewelry Quest again. Puzzle of crap. Hotel Dusk Room 215. Apparently it was 15 quid, isn't it? Might keep that there, actually. Um, let's make sure the games are in them all, actually. Uh, this is James Patterson's Woman's Murder Club. Another dual one. Glass Window. I'm guessing the person who donated all these played DS and just loved murder mysteries. That's brand new and sealed. It's never actually been opened. Some Apple game. We've got uh, Maze Mystery, The Secret, Dragonville. I have to scan all these up. Um, Vegas one. But the reason I like these is because I saw Mario Party DS. I don't know if that's any good. It's worth out. They do say two quid on the back of every game as well. So I'm guessing they couldn't sell them at two quid. So I just picked them up in a bundle. So, so far, it cost us 100 quid. We've got maybe 20 quid for... <coughs> Sorry about that. We've got about 20 quid for that tablet. I'd say at the low end, kind of scanning these up, you say with these bunch here, another 20 quid, so that could be 40 there. If this is what I think it is, I reckon this could be a 10 or 20 quid game, so let's just say it's a 10 quid game. So that means we're 50 quid back there. So far. Right, move on to this next bit of bag. We've got... Kindle with a case. Yeah, if that doesn't work, I've sold them before. You're gonna get 14 99 to 20 quid if it doesn't work. If it does work, it might get 30 quid. So let's just say it needs a charger. Let's just say it doesn't work. We'll still test it, but for now, we'll say it doesn't work. 50, 60, 65, we'll say 65. So we'll say 15 quid for that. We then got uh Samsung phone. Uh, what's this? Some of these look like decent phones to be fair. Another weird looking phone. Here yeah, Ben if you're watching this now, your phone if you want one. This is a Samsung smashed. I've sold one similar like that. Crack the screen at the bottom, sold one similar. For about a tenner. Fucking shitty old Blackberry It'll probably go straight in the bin. Uh, a Nokia 
bad boy, silver. Again, if you get charges for these, some of these work, you might be wrong. And then the last one is an iPhone 5C, I believe that is. Can tell you what it is. Don't tell you what it is, but I think that's an iPhone 5C because I used to have a red one. So, yeah. Sound alright. So I reckon, so what we had, 65 quid and we spent 100. Fucking hell. 10 f flat phone. If these work. I guess that we're going to make some serious profit back, but just say they don't. So that's 65, 75, 85, 95, 105. So after fees, are still down. Maybe get a fiver for that and a fiver for that, I don't know. Maybe get a 10 FM too, so that's 115 quid. So that's, say, let's say all this is money back once it's sold. But then we've got all these Game Boy games. Now. Oh, fuck, it's not what I thought it was. Some Nintendo, Nintendo, some Game Boy games in here. Oh, just strap me sitting with your cup of tea and sit down because this could take a while. Right, what's this? This says Mario Party. They're all in these little cases. Mario Party Advance. So that could be some coin. Right, a two in no coin in that. Dogs 2, I don't know. Star Wars Lego, could be some coin in that one. Tetris for a DS, that's crap. Right, here we go. Pokemon Emerald version. Is that any good? Some of these games are like 70 quid, aren't they? I don't know if this is one of them, but it could be good. Um, right, Tui, no. Dogs, no. Tetris, no. Let's put one over here that I done. Uh, Hello Kitty, the game. Money. Brats, probably not. Super Mario 3, another banger. So hopefully these are all Mario. SpongeBob. Spider-Man 3, Ghost Rider, so he's on Marvels, Neem, Finding Nemo, Carbon, some Carbon City, I mean, it's, that might be some sort of like Resident Evil game maybe, but it's hard to get out of these fucking cases. Man. Right, just press it. This one says, oh, Need for Speed Carbon. Need for Speed is a good game, surely. Could be a good one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that's a good game. Mario Kart Super Circle, we're making money now. This is, we're laughing now. Met Rod, the Liars, Shrek the Third. And the last one is... Something Island Princesses. But out of these, we just run through them all and see if we can find out decent. But then Mario ones, try their 20 good again. I think we could make some serious coin if all this stuff turns on. Fuck! Everything else is there, apart from this game. Oh, damn it. Can't be any of these, can it? What's in there? What's that? Tetris. Nah, it's gone. I've looked in all them cases as well. And that's what was in it. Puzzle the World 2013. So, at the end of the day, this right here is what we picked up. It's been like 140 quid. That's a 16 quid game, but it's not in there. Here's what it is. Right, on further investigation, all these Game Boy games are fake. So is there any value in them? Probably not. So I might have just been fucking done over it. That's obviously not in there. These games are all a bag of shit. Uh, good news is though, phone works. That phone works over here. This phone works, got a picture of two ladies on, so I apologise for that, but it needs a code. I don't know the code. Um, Kindle, let me charge, try charging, not yet, I want batteries to take charger. Let me know if there's anything I can do with this. This looks like a decent phone. Could be worth some peas, but I can't get the off the screen. Can you turn it off? That's not my chocolate. Kindle looks like it's charging, but nothing's going on on the screen. Yeah, maybe it's charging for a while, I don't know. A couple of phones work. I know this one up here recently sold all black for 55 quid. Pre-owned in excellent condition. It's fuck all, where that is there.
beautiful. iPhone is charging. If we can turn it on there. Needs to wait for it to charge quite good, I'm guessing. Well, that works. That's gonna be like 20 quid there, maybe even 30 quid. Just panicking about losing money on this, but should be all right. Them games, some of them might sell for like 15 quid, even though they're oh, shit. I don't know, them all together for 100 quid or something. Anyone wants any of these games, if they know they work, just let me know, I'll sort you out with cheapest chips. These two obviously don't work, so they're straight in the bin. Don't even need to test them for, because I know they'll work. This one, I have to figure it out. Slight battery damage. Yeah, we'll figure it out, though. I trust them more than anyone. That definitely works. It is all them games. If anyone's interested in games, or even the fake games, I'm 100 quid into this shit, so let me know. But on that note, we are out of here. Got a lot to list, a lot to do. Make sure you like, subscribe. Peace!